Hi guys and gals and welcome back to another video uh, for the Head of the Snake Living Story chapter. Now, last time we did the opening instance where we just basically escorted Queen Jenna around and killed lots of things and that was about it really. Um, oh, and, and some things were fired at... Uh, Divinity's Reach and that was that was about it um, but we're now moving into what appears to be a new map as indicated by all of my my guild dots <laughs> it's like mm, I wonder if there's something there so we're going to be doing that now we're going to try and keep on track though because this is going into a new map it's not going to be an instance so we're just going to try and keep on track and go through it until we get to the next instance so we can get through it as quickly as possible i'm just hoping we don't need the um the mastery for it because that's going to be awkward if we do so anyway you got to speak to this guy and we will go yeah not a problem let's go <laughs> Oh my good lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so, first impressions of this map, it looks very much like uh, Queensdale. Um, except for you've got your updrafts. So, wow, okay. I'm loving the bubble. That is pretty cool. We've got the bubble. Still got the bubble. Okay, so let's have a look on the mappity map and see where we've got to go. Down there, apparently. So, we're going to take a trip down there. It's nice seeing new map. Um, I get a feeling it's going to be a lot like all the others, but... Hey, we'll, uh, we'll give it a go and see what happens. We'll do that in our own time, mind you. And, uh, yeah... It's an interesting one because it's just a big open area, really, isn't it? Here we go. Rations, of course. There's Logan. <laughs> Welcome to just Lake a few Thor, people around him. What's left of it? The locks alone will take years to rebuild. But that worry can wait. Right now, our focus is repelling the siege and saving as many lives as we can. And once that's through, we crush Codicus into a fine paste. I don't believe we've been introduced. Turns out the Char hate Codicus just as much as we do. This is Legionnaire Nelia Steelpaw. She's volunteered her troops to help us. The White Mantle can't be allowed to ruin everything our races have built together. This is our fight too. Back to the matter at hand. There are a few key areas around Lake Doric we need eyes on. Spies have infiltrated our ranks, but I trust you beyond any doubt. So the task is yours. You can count on me. Word from the Seraph suggests incursions throughout Lake Dork. But for the moment, our intelligence is... spotty at best. Come take a look at the map, and I'll tell you what we know. Sorry, I was, I was tittering to myself there, because... Um, one, I hate that he's like, oh yeah, it's not what it used to be, you know, it's going to take us ages to rebuild it, it's like, yeah, I just wish I knew what it looks like before it was destroyed, it would have been kind of nice and the second thing I was laughing at is, um, nearly a steel paw, uh, they they just reused a voice actor from, um, I don't I can't remember the char's name uh, it's the char who's in, in the vigil there you go. I'll I'll stick a picture up somewhere so you can see. Yeah, reusing voice actors are in the net. So obvious. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Oh god, I can't even see. We there received we reports of survivors in the forest up north, Sadra's Haven to the east, and New Loamhurst to the southeast. We have troops at the Lakeside Bazaar looking after our supply lines, but I'd like you to check in on the lines as well. We can't allow any further devastation in this region. If you see anything else of interest, please include it in your report. Before you begin your reconnaissance, there's a Shining Blade agent south of here who wants a word with you. 
His name wow. Is okay. He says he has something that'll help us win this war. Okay. So at this point, the video may get a little bit choppy, uh, just based on the fact that I don't want you to be sitting through hours of me just running around. So I may skip to the skip to the good bits. So yeah. Ah, Commander. Captain Thackeray said he'd be sending you my way. I'm Exemplar Calder. As you're aware, the Shining Blade has been fighting wow, the Sun for a long, long time. Studying them, too. And we've recently made a breakthrough that might help us turn the tables on the White Mantle. We can use all the help we can get. Go on. Being that this isn't your first run-in with Jade Constructs, I'm sure you're familiar with Spectral Agony? Yes, I've had the pleasure of having my insides torn apart by that particular magic. <laughs> the Mursat's ability to phase between our world and the mists allows them to tap into magics unobtainable in the mortal realm. Spectral agony is the pinnacle of this ability, and we think we've found a way to harness a form of it for our own use. You've reproduced the powers of the Mursat? Yes, well, in a sense, with some limitations. You see, unlike a Mursat or their constructs, you can't phase between our world and the mists at will. But while close to death, you've already got one foot in the mists, at death's door, as they say. Using remnants of jade constructs, I fashioned a sigil that allows you to cast spectral agony when you're near death. I try to make it a habit to avoid those almost dead moments, but this does sound intriguing. But I warn you. The longer you tap into this power, the more it will pull you into the next world. Use it wisely. Once you've had a chance to familiarize yourself with the sigil, come see me if you'd like an advanced demonstration. Hmm. Okay, so I will play with that later. That sounds pretty damn cool. Um, I'm guessing that's a new downed ability that we've that we've now got. Which is pretty cool, pretty cool. But let us press on. Where did that come from? Hmm. Terrorizing that fishing village. We have to get Seraph support out here immediately. Okie dokes. See, you know, I could help. Oh, seriously. Do one. Glide! Thank you. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> you know, they really want me dead, don't they? <laughs> so this whole running part is quite handy. Because um, it basically is taking you to all the key areas you probably want to visit. That's a new uh, design of building. Huh. It's a bit Wild Westy, isn't it? Cool. Moving on. Ah, oh, sweet. You can use these again. That's cool. So you get your abilities back, so it wasn't such a waste. Uh, 
I can't even remember what half of these skills do. Yay! That was all me. No one else, just me. Okay. Oh, I do believe. Have we missed something? Sadra's Haven's been taken over by White Mantle. We'll need a coordinated assault to retake it. I'll make note mm. for Logan. Yes, you do that. And then we go up to way up north. Way up north. Attacking a lone house all the way up here? What could the white mantle be after? Okay, so there's like a, an old house way in the middle of nowhere, which is interesting. I do have to wonder if there's anything under there. No, uh, <laughs> I do have to wonder, um, uh, for those of you who don't know, King Doric um, was responsible for the for us all having our powers. He gave his blood for the Bloodstone, hence why it's called the Bloodstone. Um, I wonder whether this place was named after him. That's, that's what I'm wondering. Or whether this has anything to do with his backstory, his lore, or anything like that. Uh, it's the commander. Come it to is. complicate my day even further, have you? Yes. Logan asked me to check on the Seraph's operations here. What's going on? I heard a commotion earlier. <laughs> oh, that? No, that was nothing. Just a little raw, seething frustration I needed to let loose. I'll be fine. I've been tapped as the civilian envoy for the Seraph's supply line operations here. <laughs> Keeping pace with them is challenging. But someone's got to build a crown for all these resources once the war's over. Every last item will be accounted for. Very patriotic of you. Looks like things are running smoothly around here, though. The Seraph is a well-oiled machine when push comes to shove. They didn't waste a moment once the attack was sprung. The bazaar is probably the most secure location in Lake Doric. I doubt the White Mantle will have much luck seizing it. That's not to say there isn't lots of work to be done if you want to chip in. As you may have noticed, I only have two hands. Maybe later. I'm on orders from Thackeray to recon the rest of Lake Doric before we plan our next move. What can I do? Very well. Tell the captain that his supply lines are well looked after. And watch your back out there, Commander. Commander, are you reading me? Turbo. Go ahead, Tiny. Get ready for the dragon battle to end all dragon battles! A steamy wing fist to icy face jaw fight to the death! It's Jormag versus Primordial! Uh, am I to infer... The experiment was a success, and I'm having the heart of Omad's machine delivered to Rada Novus. With it, I should be able to see the eternal alchemy and manipulate the dragon's energies to pit them against one another. Spencer's research yes. is continuing to pay dividends. I haven't had the best track record guiding members of this guild, so I'll say this as a word of caution. Scarlet. Okay, A, I'm not a dragon minion. Yeah. And B... The lives we'll save are worth the risk, and I think you might agree with that. I do. Just be careful. What could go wrong? You know what? It feels like I shouldn't say that. I bet a ton of stuff can go wrong. Bye! <laughs> um, I, I would look a bit concerned there, because he was like, oh yeah, you know, I've, I'm just letting a bit of rage out, and there is this villager lady cowering in the corner. I'm like... Dude, did you like <laughs> totally go abusive on her? <laughs> is that like, is that your wife? Are you beating her and you want me to help you? What the hell? I'm sure that's not the case. I'm sure ArenaNet haven't put in domestic violence into their game, but. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Okay, and so we're back at Mr. Thackeray. You're back and in one piece. I assume you have a report for us. Indeed. The Seraph have the bazaar well secured, but the mantle's making gains elsewhere in the region. Sadra's Haven is definitely a target. We should send some support that way. I'll try to get a detachment out there as soon as possible. What else? The White Mantle have taken an interest in New Lomehurst, as well as a... Heavily fortified house in the forest north of here. Oh, Baz, you're going to be if so embarrassed when I upload this video. <laughs> I appreciate your efforts, Commander. Thanks to you, we're a little less blind in this battle. 
While you were scouting, we heard that the White Mantle have taken Fort Avenia, bolstering their eastern flank's defenses. Worse yet, there's some sort of magical storm forming over the fort. We can't risk a frontal assault. There's supposed to be a Shining Blade agent stationed in that area. One well-versed in the art of sabotage. I think the two of you could do a lot of damage together. Go track down yes. the agent. See if you can do something about the White Mantle who occupy that fort. Yay! I've done it! That was... Interesting. Walking around the map, you know, just... just Taking a look at how... Wow, okay, well... <laughs> taking a look at uh, this new little uh, area, which looks pretty cool. Um, so just from that alone, I, I managed to... You know, got about half the map uncovered, so it's, it's not too bad. Uh, I do quite look forward to actually investigating the rest. Not a whole lot has happened, other than that we've gone around the map and found out that the white mantle are slapping its shit basically so that's that's that really so i'm going to go to this one next but uh, that is a video for another day so don't forget to come back tomorrow when i will be uploading that video same time same place as this channel um and that's about it so thank you very much for watching guys and i will catch you next time Ta-ta.